Invented in the middle of the 20th century, instant film made photographic images materialize almost magically. The picture appeared in minutes. No more waiting for days for film to be processed. Today, it's a digital world, but instant film is still getting plenty of exposure. With instant film, you can watch an image develop before your very eyes. No film lab or digital printer necessary. Just say cheese and wait to see what develops. Many decades after its invention, instant photo development still seems like a neat trick. Making the magic happen is a many-layered process, one that involves multiple materials and chemicals. Production begins with the film negative. It takes place in the dark to prevent pre-exposure. The technician dons night vision goggles, allowing him to monitor plastic film as it unwinds into a coating machine. Inside, various dyes and chemicals will transform the film into a negative. They switch the lights back on briefly for our camera. The film travels up and down towards the coating machine. It's a system that prevents any slackening in the feed. The coating is also done in the dark, so this worker demonstrates the process for our camera on a small research machine. Liquid photochemicals and dyes flow onto the surface of the plastic film. He spreads the liquids across the film for an even application. This is all done mechanically inside the real coating machine. Once coated, the film will head into the dryer. The various coatings will dry in separate layers without intermingling. Here's a test tube lineup of the liquid components of the negative. The colorful ones are dyes and the white ones are other chemicals. They apply black backing to the negative to block light, again preventing pre-exposure. The trip through the dryer is 87 yards long. Hot air dries the chemicals on the surface of the film. Once again, it all happens in the dark to protect the light-sensitive film. Coiled up and packed into light-tight drums, the color-negative material is now on its way to a second factory to be assembled into the instant film pack. Upon arrival, they thread the negative onto a machine, along with other materials for the film pack. They include a plastic base material called the mask and the positive paper that receives the photographic image from the negative. The various materials are steered toward assembly stations by a system of rollers. Here's a lineup of the various materials to be assembled. That's the mask on the far left and the negative in the middle. The negative heads towards a series of hot presses. One press laminates a plastic spacer called the rail to the negative. Another lamination head applies the mask to the positive sheet that will receive the image. On a different machine, equipment folds a kind of foil pouch and injects it with film developer. Here's an inside look at the pouch. The blue liquid is the developer. Encased in the foil-lined envelope, it will stay fresh until needed. Back on the main assembly machine, Another hot press laminates the developer pouch to the other film materials. This completes the film sandwich and it heads into another station to be sliced into photo-sized pieces. The photo frames ride a wheel with a counter that divides them into stacks of eight. Meanwhile, robot arms deposit a rectangular spring on a battery. Then they position the eight pictures on the spring battery assembly, followed by a light blocking cover. The stack then moves forward to be squeezed into a plastic cassette. A suction type of device now picks up a cardboard box and transfers it to the end of the film pack line. Another device captures the film pack as it comes off the line and places it in the cardboard box. Once folded closed, the box of instant film rides the carousel to a scale. A quick weighing confirms there's enough film in the box so it's ready to ship. The assembly of this instant film pack has taken roughly three minutes. Now those instant memories are just a few clicks away.